Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Robert Hollis Jr. here with Cop the Dream. Uh, uh, today's video I just wanted to uh, uh, put up uh, because I've had a lot of questions about this recently and uh, you know I just kind of want to address the issue and I had a really um, a uh, really good idea in my head about it and you know really what the question is is a lot of people you know just bottom line ask me is what do you think that I should be doing right now in my business what do you think you know exactly I should be doing and you know it's funny because you know I recently went to a conference and I actually got this statement from a guy named Eric Worre and you know he said don't go too far down the rabbit hole now, what do I mean by that? Because, you know, in this world of, you know, internet marketing now and, and whatever you're doing as far as your business, there's so many different avenues that you can take to, to generate leads, to generate cash flow, to generate a following. I mean, you know, there, there's, there's Facebook marketing, there's Facebook ads, there's the, you know, uh, creating a list, there's solo ads, banner ads, Craigslist ads. I mean, you can go on and on and on. And every one of them works. Every one of them generates leads. So, you know, you know, people always ask me, what do you think that I should be doing? And, you know, when, when I said don't go too far down the rabbit hole is because what a lot of people do is they get so caught up in learning instead of doing. You know, we always say that 90-day challenge or the, you know, putting in 500 hours to start being, being very successful. We're not talking about putting in that time learning. We're not talking about putting in that time studying. We're talking about putting in that time doing, okay? So to answer the question, I wanna give you guys an analogy, you know, cause now we're coming up in, in December, you know, and a lot of people always make their New Year's resolution or decide that they, you know, want to lose weight. They wanna get in better shape. And it's so funny because I've talked to my friends that used to sell gym memberships and they, uh, they say that they honestly sell like, don't quote me on this, I don't know the numbers, but something like 80%, if not more, of all gym memberships are sold in January. Because, you know, everybody feels guilty because they went through Thanksgiving and Christmas and they didn't do anything and New Year's resolution and I'm going to do it this year. So, you know, guess what? I'm going to go to the gym four times a day. I'm going to start walking in the morning. I'm going to start running. I'm going to start juicing. I'm going to go on a diet. You know, I'm going to cut out soda. I'm going to cut out beer. I'm going to do this, 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 all this different stuff. And what people honestly do is they start to get overwhelmed. So imagine it. And not only that, but isn't it not fun? You know, me even thinking that because I do want to get in better shape, but thinking about doing all that stuff doesn't even sound fun to me. So, you know, people get into all that and just like in this business, ladies and gentlemen, just like in this business, they get their membership, they do this, they do this, they do this, they do this, they get overwhelmed and two months later, they lost like two, three pounds. This sucks, I'm quitting. And people do that in our business as well, ladies and gentlemen, think about that. You know, I've talked to friends that are gym rats, they go to the gym religiously and they hate January and February because it's crowded. Come March, nobody's there, <laughs> okay? So, you know, how does that equivalent to doing this business? Now, think about it this way. You can't break a bad habit. You can only replace it with a good one. And I challenge anybody to this, you know, 30 days, if you can do something consistently on a 30-day basis, you then form a habit, whether it's good or bad. So let's take the analogy of getting in shape again. Okay, listen, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna commit to walking 20 minutes a day. I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna go on my 20 minute walk and I'm just gonna do it or, or do it after dinner, whatever it is. And if you can commit to do that after 30 days, it's now a habit. It doesn't become a chore anymore, it just becomes part of your life, part of your routine, it's something you do. You know, and I love the analogy is, you know, a routine, think about that. I remember when I had a full-time job and I'm sure a lot of people still do. You know when your alarm goes off that if you don't wake up at that moment, or you probably even have the snooze timed perfectly, where listen, I can hit the snooze button once, but if I hit it twice, I'm, I might not be able to do this, or I'm going to be rushing in traffic, or whatever it is. So you wake up, you know, you get your coffee made, you drink your coffee while you know reading the newspaper, you take your shower, you get dressed, you eat breakfast, and you jump in the car. And for people that do that on a routine, <clears throat> isn't it from the time that you wake up till you time you get in the car, it's only like a 15 minute margin? Aren't you so good at doing that ritual? You're just so good at it, why? Because you've done it over 30 days, you consistently do it. 
So now all of a sudden 30 days pass and you know, guess what? That's part of your routine now. You don't even have to try anymore. Okay, well listen, now I need to cut off soda. You know, I, I still like drinking my beer on Mondays with football. You know, I still like my pizza and my wings. And, you know, I really don't want to go to the gym because it's still February and they're still crowded there and there's all these buff people. I don't want to be embarrassed. I'm just going to cut off soda. Now watch, is it really that hard to just do that, cut off soda for 30 days? And then now the next 90-day challenge, we always talk about that. You know what, I'm just going to make a smoothie in the morning or a juice. You know, I don't need eggs and bacon and biscuits in the morning. I'm just going to do that. So once again, 90, the 30 days go by. And how many people think just right there, it took you 90 days to change three habits, or not change three habits, but create three habits. And if all you did was walk 20 minutes a day, cut out soda, and had a smoothie or juice in the morning instead of greasy bacon and eggs, do you think if you just consistently did that for the other um, – eight months of the year that come up after that year that you'd be in a lot better shape just by doing those three things, okay? So that's why I wanted to, you know, bring that as an analogy because, you know, just that, you know, like internet marketing, people get in and they, you know, they do Facebook advertisements and they do try to create a fan page and they create a blog and they try to do videos and solo ads and Craigslist ads and buy leads and, you know, you're doing 10 things at 10% instead of doing one thing a hundred percent you know will you get a, a results immediately sometimes not you know just like working out if anybody's ever worked out committed to working out or drop dieting do you get buff or do you just shred 30 pounds in your first 30 days no but you're creating a habit a success habit now some people can do that i'll even back up because you know me fortunately i do this full time i can spend eight nine twelve hours a day doing this hannah ebert one of our business partners she decided to commit it was four or five hours every single day for 30 days and her first month working with our program she made forty five hundred dollars and that was residual think about that ladies and gentlemen but if you can't do that, whatever. What if you just got in a successful habit where you could do it two hours a day? Would it, would it be okay that in three months from now that you were making four grand a month? So find one thing that you're passionate about, one thing that you like doing. You know, whether it is, you know, posting ads on Craigslist, just get that and perfect it and do it for 30 days and master it. Whether it's creating a Facebook following on a fan page or whether it's solo ads, I know a lot of people that hate calling people on the phone, are scared to death of it, but then there's other people that just love it. There's natural salespeople. What if you committed to 30 days of calling 10, 15 leads a day for 30 days straight? I don't think there's one person watching this video that can't tell me that you wouldn't have results and start to get success. And it just starts going downhill from there because after the 30 days, now you're jacked up. You're looking forward to doing it. Oh, I can't wait to do my calls. I can't wait to do it. I mean, even me, ladies and gentlemen, it's taken me a while to make these videos. Could I have done it a year ago? Yes. I'm just going to commit to doing it. And like I, I, people that are following me, you're going to watch me continue to put up content after content and build value. And before you know it, 30 days will go past. And instead of me struggling to do it, it'll almost be like a habit for me. So, you know, I hope that answers people's questions because when some people hit me up and say, listen, what exactly should I do? You can do a lot of things, but whatever you decide to do, pick it and get good at it because you learn by doing. You can learn anything in life by doing. People always think you have to have 100% of the knowledge before acting. No, while you're acting, you can learn very, very fast. I, you know, just like for me with my skating background, there's no way to learn how to jump on a handrail and slide down without jumping on it first. You can study people all you want. You can learn the techniques. You can practice all you want. But that first time you try to jump on a rail and you fall and smack, smack your wrist or, or booty, I should say. I was going to say something else, but <laughs> not what I was watching. <laughs> You learn real quick not to jump that way again, right? <laughs> so, you know, sorry, I don't want to, you know, I want to make these really fast and informable to everybody, so I don't want to go off on other tangents. I did add a couple other things I was going to speak about, but, you know, keep following me. You guys will keep seeing these come up. So, 
you know, if you're watching this for the first time, I, I want to thank each and every one of you guys out there. If you feel, uh, you know, the passion in my heart, do you feel any content or value here with these videos, uh, uh, please reach out to me. You can follow me on my Facebook uh, a fan page, Caught the Dream, or actually uh, 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 get, get in touch with me at CaughtTheDream.com. So I hope this helped you for each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. And Robert Hollis Jr. signing out. God bless you.